Hi, and welcome to our very first video from A Nightmare on Craft Street. I'm Cameron. And I'm Alyssa. And we're here to make all your spooky crafting and cricket nightmares come true. <laughs> <laughs> this year for Halloween, I'm hosting a spooky garden party. So I need to make some spooky plants to put in the garden. And when we think of spooky plants, there's only one thing that comes to mind. That's right, boy. That's right, Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. A friend sent us this very cool Audrey 2 craft video from Everyday Life with Heather, and it gave us some major inspiration. So today, we're gonna take all of this and turn it into this. On this episode of Nightmare on Craft Street, materials you'll need for today are a pot, floral foam, model magic, lots of fake plants, a dowel, various paints, hot glue, paint materials, scissors, purple fabric, carving tools, and a craft pumpkin. So the first thing we're going to use is this craft pumpkin because it's the perfect shape for Audrey's head. So we're going to draw a mouth on it around the stem and around the seam of the pumpkin and then we're going to cut it out with these pumpkin carving tools. So we just had those left over from last Halloween. That's the cheapest way to do it. But you can also use an X-Acto knife or a kitchen knife if that's what you have access to. Just be careful. cut out so beautiful and if it's not perfect that's okay because we're gonna cover the lips with model magic anyway but if you want to go back in with your knife and take care of some of those hard edges you can do that too and with the excess if you don't have a Halloween costume for this year you can just wear it like a hat two so, crafts in one so beautiful thank you wow. so the next step is to paint this puppy uh, we have lots of different colors of paints our paint palette and our paintbrush we're also going to cover our table to protect it We have our painted pumpkin that took a few coats of paint and a whole lot of patience but if you're looking like you have sort of a watermelon type thing you're basically on the right track yeah all right so the next step what you're gonna need is your dowel so for this this is basically gonna look like the vine of the plant and it's what's gonna mount into the base at the end of the project but before we get there we need to put a small hole in the base of Audrey that the dowel can sit up into like this and that's what's gonna keep her up when she's in her base. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke a pilot hole from the inside of the mouth through the bottom of Audrey. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the dowel and hold it up to where that hole is and trace around the dowel so that we know the proper size to cut our hole. That should make a snug fit for the dowel so that Audrey sits correctly. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but we have a circle drawn right here, and we're gonna cut it just a little bit smaller than the dowel is. What you want is to be able to get some tension when you're trying to push the dowel through so that the head will fit snugly. So, there you go. You saw how hard that was for me to get in. That's what you want because it is literally going to hold Audrey. Like this! Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So now that the dowel is glued in, um, it's going to be a little hard to work with, but we think this is the best way because the next bit of work we're going to do is all in the mouth, covering where the dowel is on the inside. Yes. So for that, we're going to use some purple fabric. We just have an old t-shirt here that we're going to cut the sleeves off and, okay. and cut apart. Um, so we're going to use that for the inside of the mouth and then glue that in. the inside of this thing. Look at that. Can't really see it. It's a little hard to see it, but yeah. just because we think is more of an organic shape, kind of has some movement to it. Definitely hides the dowel and it's a little bit baggy in there. Um, and I think it looks a little more similar to the movie, Audrey. Right. So the next thing we're gonna do is the lips that go around the mouth. We're using our Model Magic for this. So this is ready to go clay. It just needs dry time. You don't have to bake it or anything. So it's kind of perfect for this. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to roll these out into like long, like you did when you were a kid. Snakes. Roll them out into snakes. <laughs> um, and we're literally just going to go with the thing of this mouth. You can't mess this up. It's a monster. So just do it however you think looks cool. And at the end, we're going to press little lines into it to give it more of an ant shape. Uh, we'll talk about that more when we get to it. Yeah, and she's got some hella lips in that movie. Yeah, if you're following the movie version, give her some lips. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're doing now is she's just taking the end of a paintbrush and we're just making the lines. If you look at your lips in a mirror, you'll see that they have lines in them. So it's just, again, to make it look more real, to make it look more screen accurate, just give it a little... A little something extra. A little something extra. I don't know if you can see that. And we'll hold up in the camera, but you can see the little lippy lines right there and you can see the inside of the mouth. Ooh. Now, we gotta wait for it to dry. All right, so now that the lips are done um, and they need to dry, while you still have your model magic out, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make little teeth out of clay. And they can look however you want. They don't have to be perfect. It's actually better if they're not. We're gonna make a ton of these and let them dry. And then we're gonna uh, hot glue them onto the inside of the lips so it looks like they're coming out of gums that aren't really there. But that's what we're gonna do. So while the lips and teeth are drying, um, we decided we're gonna actually paint this dowel the dark green color right now, so it can all just dry together, and then we'll be ready to move on to the big next step, which is painting the lips and the teeth. So for right now, 
We're just gonna get painting. Okay, so now that the lips are firm enough, we are going to just paint them. So you can paint them whatever color you want. We're gonna go for a deep red with a little accent in it, probably. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's paint some teeth. Alright. So as you can see, our lips are painted. They are drying currently, and our teeth are drying. I think we're going to do those last in our video. So up next, so next we're going to put our floral foam inside of our terracotta pot. Uh, it doesn't really fit, so we're gonna cut it to size and make sure that it fits really snugly in there. And then we're gonna push the dowel into the foam. And that's what's gonna hold Audrey up. <laughs> and getting foam in my eye. Uh, the pot is packed with foam. Um, it's really stuck in there very firmly to hold Audrey in place. And the rest of the plants we're going to put in there. So that's what you want. Ooh. It's a little bit of work, but the tighter it's packed, the better it's going to hold everything. Just get ready to be covered in foam. Covered. Covered in foam. But it's worth it. <laughs> totally. All right. So after we got all the floral foam cleaned up, uh, the next step is going to be a fun one. So the first thing we're gonna do is put Audrey into the floral foam. You don't wanna to wiggle too much here. You wanna kind of take her and with all your force, push straight down so that you can get her to stick into this pot. This is the whole thing that's gonna hold her up. And once we do that, you can just start decorating flowers. The goal is to try to cover the floral foam in the base, but also bring them up the vine. The stick that Audrey's on, it's got right here. You can put some on the base of Audrey, some on the back of Audrey. This is the part where you can just go absolutely nuts and there is no right or wrong here. Just, just go for it. Have as much fun with it as you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. She's so tall. Audrey's a little tall, but <laughs> as you can see, she's, um, she's up. She's we wanted her to be tall because we're actually putting her in our garden for a Halloween party. So, um, if you make her a little shorter, that's cool too, but we want her to be tall, but unfortunately. <laughs> but as you can see, she's standing up perfect, which is exactly what we wanted. Yeah. So now, we gonna go fun. Go nuts. Go have fun. Go nuts. <laughs> go nuts fun. Go nuts fun. <laughs> All right, y'all, home stretch. So for ours, we decided to do the teeth last because we wanted, we wanted to let them dry a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do to finish it up. We might add a little blood to the mouth, up to you, make it look like an eight or not. And when we're done with that, join us for our grand reveal. <laughs> 